Uh, I wonder if I lean over, will it go faster? Oh, we're almost at 40. Yo, going, bro. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, is the smallest street legal sport bike that you can buy. This thing has a whopping 3.7 horsepower and at full RPM, 4.4 freaking horsepower or, this is Chinese, it's making 4.4 rice patties. Emotional damage! This thing is a screamer. The 600 sitting behind it, the ZX600 Ninja sitting behind it, holds nothing compared to this Chinese monster right here. Let's take a more in-depth look at the DF, uh, whatever they call this, <laughs> the VFX ZXR6. Apparently this has an R6 power plant motor in it. We'll find out. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. This puppy was designed to go so fast, they didn't even include an engine. Wow. Just a battery. Look at that. Oh, never mind. I found the engine. It's kind of a cute little guy. Well, as y'all know, this is a GY6 knockoff. This is a Honda Ruckus knockoff engine, the 139 QMB. It's been used in almost every single Chinese scooter project ever made. And this beauty comes with one, which in a way is nice and not. And I'll explain why. The reason why it's nice is because, well, it's cheap. All the parts are cheap. Everything to get for this is super duper cheap. You barely ever pay more than $20 to $10 for a part, but the reliability just isn't there. It's not there, folks. It's just a little tiny guy, but well-maintained, well taken care of. You can normally get about 15 to 20,000 miles out of one of these engines before you just have to do a very simple fix of retilling, uh, re uh, building the top end on this beast here. Yeah. Shocks are pretty good. I would say that they spring and it looks like oil. However, for being a 2021, there's already oil leaking on this one. You can see it right here. See? He's a leaker. She's a leaker. The fork seals on this already have to be rebuilt. <laughs> <laughs> that just goes to show you Chinese quality. This is a 2021. It literally only has. Let's see what the mileage is. Um, 800.1, 801 miles on the money. Uh, I can tell you right now it doesn't go 60 miles an hour. Probably 45, maybe 50 if it's lucky on a downhill grade. But these are also kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because they look so sport bike-ish, they really uh, attract the attention of people, and these are very easy to modify, so people buy the crap out of these things. And as you can see, for being a 2021, the plastics have already started paint peeling from sitting outside. Horrible Chinese paint job. I will say the seat feels good, but you can see the seat is already starting to fray and crack, unfortunately, as well as the tank. And you can see the corrosion already starting up here. Bear in mind, this was parked outside, but on somebody's back porch with no water elements getting to it. This is all corrosion damage, but everything does work. It is a fully functioning working motorcycle of 2021. And in this case, it now has a garage life. So we'll clean it up real good, but uh, fill the tires with air, did some stuff to it. I'd like to take you out show you what it can do there's no shifting gears on this it does have a normal rear brake like on a normal bike you see my 600s back there it's got a rear brake right there pegs seem pretty normal um, it does have back handlebars not sure why i don't know if i'd want to put another rider up there that seems a bit sketchy to put another rider up there plus where, where, where are their feet gonna go there's there's no pegs for the back passenger even though it has a cute little pad here there's no back pegs for the back passenger that's a little sketchy Neat little design that they've come up with here to store your documents is a watertight compartment underneath here for your storage of little tiny things because it's not really a scooter. Even though it is a scooter, it's not really a scooter. There's no 
seat room underneath it. There's also no helmet lock. You will notice most sport bikes do have a helmet lock on this side to attach to and lock. Uh, I'm pretty sure my bike has one. I've never, there it is, helmet lock. Um, most every sport bike has one. This does not. As you can see, pretty cheap plastics. There's nothing in the front of this. It's very, very empty, but it does have all your normal turn signals and horn and all that kind of stuff. So I, I have to tighten this bar down. If you couldn't tell, uh, I have to get in here and tighten these down. This needs to go uh, up more and then tighten down. It's out a little bit far at the moment, but uh, I'm working on a few things that I noticed. I did put the mirrors back on because he had taken those off due to this one having a crash, but it still functions, so I went ahead and put it back on there. The bike definitely needs to be cleaned. You can see it's very dirty, very dusty, but uh, has all your normal stuff. A normal sport bike would have minus shifting gears, no clutch on this side, as you can tell. Digital tack, which is kind of nice, or uh, digital odometer, which is nice. No tachometer, because this thing's not really a rev monster. And your normal stuff, fuel gauge, turn signals, headlight, all that. So let me tighten some of this stuff down so it's not such a scary ride. And uh, I'll throw my helmet on. We'll put the GoPro on. We'll take this little beast for a cruise. I mean, you can just tell the difference. It's a very small bike. <laughs> but man, is it fun looking. I'm thinking about keeping this one. If you want to know i only paid a hundred dollars for this thing at 2021 with a title so uh yeah i mean it's such low mileage this could just be fun just to have keep in the garage if a friend comes over and wants to go for a ride or family comes into town they can take it out and just kind of have fun and cruise it for the day i mean i've got my other islander which is done but i'm selling that so we'll see we'll see looks clean looks fun but uh it's very disorienting to not have an engine in there you know there are a lot of a lot of emptiness in there. Would have been nice if they put like a storage cage in there or something that you could just open up with a key and then throw storage into, but well, you know, they didn't do that, so there you go. It's just got fake plastics on it. But I'll tell you what, it does make the engine really easy to access because it is right there. You don't need to dig for nothing like you do on the scooter plastics over there. Um, I see that somebody already changed these out to LED high bright bulbs, so that's kind of nice. Somebody did some work for me that I don't have to do. Um, I notice a few little customizations here and there. I'm going to have to check that fork seal. I don't like the way that's leaking, but let me tighten that one handlebar down. And, uh, yeah, vibrations probably loosen that up. And then we'll take this little beast, this beast of a motorcycle for a ride. All right, let's do it. That's right, guys. We are making this ride in full race gear all the way down. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's do this. I wonder how many strange looks I'm going to get from people. This thing just looks so small. This is hilarious. All right, everything's tight. Handlebars tight. Mirrors are on there. Everything is good to go. We got gas. Let's make a good ride. I have no idea how old the gas is in this bike, but I guess we will find out. Oh my God, this thing feels so tiny. This is so ridiculous. Okay, let's, uh, let's get her cranked up here. Ooh, she needs a little help. Let her warm up real fast. There we go. Ooh, listen to her warm up. So I need to address this. I notice that this shakes a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe if I just put another rubber piece underneath this. It only does it when it warms up. Other than that, it stops. This does have a very sport bike-esque feel. You know? Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> Wait for this thing to calm down. At least I can put my hands on it and it stops. It's kind of an annoyance though, isn't it? See, once the bike comes down into its idle, then it stops doing that vibration. All right, well, we clearly have no idea how fast this goes, only by what we've read. Only by what we've read. So it's hot as balls out here. I'm in full dress gear and we're gonna go take a ride. Let's go see what this biking thing is about. All these people always talking about sport bike this, sport bike that. Let's go find out what they're about. Yeah, let's go. Oh man, this thing's fast. Oh, it's a rocket. Oh my God, we are moving. Yeah, look at that, 20 miles an hour. Holy cow, blinker. Oh man, we got blinkers. <laughs> This thing is a trip. I have to look so goofy riding this. A 250 pound dude in full dress gear cruising this thing around. Let's go. Yeah, get it. Yeah. 
vehicle. <laughs> it's about the same takeoff as most of your little 50cc scooters. We will we will solve that. Feels pretty smooth though, surprisingly. It's it's I mean a little bumpy, but feels pretty smooth. I also have a ton of air in the tires right now, so everything's gonna feel like really, really caught up. You know what I'm saying? So wow, that's actually kind of a nice uh I like that. That was a nice ride there. Alright, let's go. Man. Giving her all the beans. 20 miles an hour. Come on. Let's give her more beans. Oh, she's all the way flatlined. Yeah. We're getting up there. Oh my god. We're gonna hit 30. Hee hee. Man. Oh my high beams are on. I can turn those off. I'll tell you what though, this is very smooth. I feel like I could literally ride this one hand just like a sport bike, put my arm up here, cruise. Yeah, 30 man. That's that's about what this thing pegs at. Legal speed of <laughs> literally the legal speed, 30 miles an hour. That's kind of funny to me. I find that very amusing. I'll tell you what though, it feels like a sport bike. It rides like a sport bike. Crazy. Even though it's tiny and has an itty bitty little wheelbase, this thing rips. But it could go faster right right my mirrors are like don't work those are pointless my mirrors are pointless all right let's go let's get it <laughs> oh my god oh you know what i just went somewhere with a hill i might regret that oh hey blinker's still on still man this thing's ripping we're up to 30. we're getting up to 35. you come on go meow, meow. this could be fun just to tool around on you know or go on like a group ride with a bunch of people that also have scooters this could be fun full dress gear though full-fledged dress gear cruising you know what i'm saying that's, that's that's where it's at all right let's go yeah go little go little sport bike slash scooter thing I don't even know what you are. You're technically a scooter. Because this is gas and go. You're not shifting gears. You're not busting clutches. You're not banging on gears at all. It's just gas and go. But I will say I'm 250 pounds. It's cruising me up this hill just fine. I know the GoPro doesn't show the hill. But there's definitely a hill. Alright. So let's see how bad it is when I stop. And then give her the beans. What's the dig? Alright. So. Yeah. Slow. Very slow. Oh my god. We're getting up to 10. 15. Still cruising uphill. We're still gaining speed. 20. Yeah, this thing is very slow out the hole. Uh, I think we should clean the carburetor because I'm guessing it had ethanol in it. Clean out all the jetways and then see what this thing can do. We'll give it a new belt and maybe some stronger springs or something. Doesn't do very good on like a hill dig though. So I find that I find that to be very amusing. Hi guys. Okay. Or don't. <laughs> this thing is a trip. Yeah. Didn't even see me. All good, man. <laughs> I am riding a little tiny thing. Is that, is that's that's a warning. I was watching him closely to make sure that he wasn't going to peg me. He didn't even see me coming. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. Coming up on 30. So that's something to be aware of on these little tiny bikes, man. It's a lot harder for people to see you, you know? Oh, look at this road's very shaky. <laughs> Take that panel. Come on, go, 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 little panel. This thing is a trip though. I'm going down a bumpy road and it feels smooth. I mean, I'm getting beat up a little bit, but nothing crazy. You know, I find that, I find that to be totally funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> this thing's great for just vlogging on, just having some fun. Just going out and just cruising the neighborhood on. All right, let's go. This is my favorite windy turn road. So let's go, bike, go. Yeah, this thing needs some work. We're going to put some performance in this little bike because it is very slow out the hole. Okay, come on. You can do it. We're getting up 30 again. This is my favorite turn. I want to carve into this turn. Let's see if this thing can lay on its side down here. We're coming into this turn down here hot. I'm giving her all the beans. We're at 30. Watch out for sticks. Here we go. Coming up on the turn. Nobody's coming. We're going to hold this tight right here and pull through it there's another one can we come into this one nice and hot i don't know what this bike can handle oh shit yeah get it <laughs> this thing feels so uncomfortable to try to lay down on its side holy mackerel i'll tell you what though if you just want the feel this just the form factor of, of kind of a 
fun little sport bike -ish style thing this thing definitely uh, offers you that this is uh, this is a trip I'm almost 35 years old and this thing is a trip to ride it's funny and you probably get like I said depending on how you dress on this thing you probably get a lot of looks from people like wow that's kind of cool and weird at the same time you know I <laughs> like the look from that dude he was like what the hell oh my god let's take her all the way down here again then we'll come back up the other way because that's that just seems like an ideal thing to do you know all right we're giving her all the beans let's honk at this lady hi <laughs> <laughs> she did not wave back at all she was like nah -uh. let's go all right we are flatlined right now pegged going downhill we're passing 35 we are ripping tater chipping Yeehaw! Risk it for the biscuit! Yeah, I wonder if I lean over, will it go faster? Oh, we're almost at 40! Yo, going, bro! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this thing is a fucking trip, dude. <laughs> okay. god all right we'll go down here and then we'll make this turn that dude was rooting me on he was like cheering me on while i was giving him the the rock on insignia i was like yeah bro he was like yeah do you get it yeah thanks bro thanks for the motivation tell you what though once this thing warms up and gets going it runs pretty good so it doesn't need much work. I barely had to do anything. Just put the mirrors back on. Some simple stuff, you know. So I just got to rearrange these mirrors slightly to my liking and kind of go from there. I might just get this thing street legal. This looks like it could be actually a lot of fun to just drive around a cruise with a bunch of people. Find out some Tampa, Pinellas County scooter riders and just take this thing out and trick it for the day. There you go. 5.4 miles. I've been riding it a lot. Let's go uh, take it back, check the engine for any leak. Shouldn't be leaking. But then again, never nerr. Yeah, never nerr, man. <laughs> what a trip. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, I haven't ridden it long enough to actually like tell you more about it. Because I don't know. All I know is what I know right now. It's a 2021. Uh, had a crash both little plastic pieces are gone a few loose things mirror took a hit you can see there was a scrape here and a scrape here but other than that i mean you know digital dash it's really not that bad and i mean the overall quality doesn't look too horrible you know the welds look like they were done pretty good a lot of these chinese scooters have crappy weld jobs on them i will say that one leaky fork already is kind of crazy but that might have been from the accident we don't know it does even have cool safety features so while the kickstand's down Oh no, I lied. Wow, I thought before it didn't let me uh, try to start it up while the kickstand was down. I thought it had a safety switch on it. I guess I'm, I guess I'm wrong about that. Oh well, there's that. So, anyways, it's very easy to work on. And this is the one thing I want to stress to you guys. I work on a lot of scooters. The engine is right there. Everything is accessible. It's a GY6. You can find these uh, engine parts for extremely cheap all over the place. Everything is easy to get to. Like, you literally don't have to do any real hard work to get parts and pieces out they have simplified everything by moving the engine back this far the only downside is rain will definitely get up into parts and pieces it's nice they've included a mud flap i don't know how well that's going to do but tires seem to be good fill them up with air thing tops out about 30 35 so not too horrible everything works i mean you know it was a good deal it's definitely a good deal so it's basically a brand new bike with a few little hiccups for 100 bucks with a title and uh this is something to have some fun on you know so but like i said if you were looking at chinese scooters this is ideal to those people because everything is easy to access like i said it is right here you don't have to search for shit everything on the engine is right here the pairing system all of it everything else from here up is just electronics and little plugs and stuff so that simplifies your life when you want to do any kind of work to this it is very simple even looks like even removing the motor becomes a very simple job so downside no center stand 
there's no center stand on this engine so it only literally has a kickstand so when you want to work on it you actually have to design a motorcycle lift or some way to hoist this up and pick it up put it on a bucket on the bottom of the frame whatever you know to work on it because it doesn't have a, a center stand like normal normal scooters do so but i mean let's look at the price i, I don't know i'll have to look up what the price of this thing costs brand new i'm assuming it's probably in the two thousand dollar range eighteen hundred to two thousand dollar range maybe even a little bit more than that so I, I don't know worth it it's chinese you know, get some mileage out of it ride it around just have some fun keep it in your garage if you want the paint and everything to stay looking good garage keep it uh, you want it to go to hell real fast park things outside as you can see this is not even a year old And it's been parked on a back porch with direct sunlight getting on it And it's already started to peel all the paint off of it. So luckily it's not horrible yet, but If it had stayed any longer it'd be bad So now we're gonna wax it and try to bring the paint back a little bit and give it a wash and all that good stuff So hope you guys enjoyed that. It's my new little whip just to play around with kind of have some fun and uh, You know Yeah, it's a good deal. I think it was a good deal let me know if you guys have questions you want to know something about this bike just you know drop a drop a comment below and i'll see if i can see if i can give you the answer um but i work on a lot of gy6 engines this is a very uh easy engine to get parts for so those chinese they're all over the place like literally any part costs 10 to 20 dollars for this bike almost a whole rebuild kit for the top end is like 40 dollars for this bike so i mean it's kind of hard to argue with yeah it's chinese but you know things are really cheap it's not japanese it's not japanese quality but parts are cheap so it's like buying a ford hey <laughs> who's gonna get mad at that drop it in the comment section below let me know if i made you mad and i'm out of here toodles Madness.